All right. I planted this. We're here. We are here. We're live. Yeah. You're live. So, <laughs> how's it going? Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, tonight we're going to make a cute little painting of a watercolor spider. Watercolor spider, nice. Uh, what do we need for that? Um, well, I got out some pencils in case we want to sketch a little web for him. Uh -huh. We'll worry about that when we get to it. Um, we're going to also need uh, brushes. So, I've got two of them here. These are really handy. These are just like, they have their own little water reservoir in them and a cap. So they're really great to have for doing watercolor when you're on the go. They're also fun and easy at home. Um, we've got some fine liner pens to help us draw on some details towards the end. Um, got our little spray bottles so we can get our watercolors wet. Do we want to use similar colors or different colors? Or well, do let's do different colors. Let's uh, mix colors. it up, you know? Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'll let you have this palette, if that's all right for you. It's fine, yeah. And I'm going to take this palette. All right. All right. So. What am I doing? Oh, man. Yeah. So many things here. We're gonna go ahead and spray our paints to get them activated. These are all my colors? I have more colors than this. Oh, I have yeah, oh. both sides. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of colors. Just watch card. Okay. All right, if you have any questions in the chat, you know, let us know. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're uh, making a watercolor spider tonight. Don't forget to spray your paint. Oh, thank you. Yeah, don't do it over the table though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Uh, right. I'm going to start by making a web for my spider. All right. Um, which way am I going to go? I think I'm actually going to turn my paper this way. For this one. Okay. So you can go whichever way you want. doesn't matter. You know, it's your spider. It's your world. Uh, I'm going to draw a little web for mine. So we're going to start up in this corner up here. And we're going to make a web kind of go in this direction. And then we'll make our spider kind of down in this corner. All right. So, we'll start up in your corner and just do a nice light line, just going straight down. You can swoop it a little bit if you want. I don't know. You don't have to be perfect. You know, some spider webs do look really perfect. Oh my gosh. One time I was uh, playing disc golf at night. Remember this? Mm -hmm. And uh, we were walking to the next hole in the dark, and we had like our lights ahead of us. And um, I was like inches away from this immaculate spider web, and my eyes were parallel with the spider. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, just a web, literally, like I think it was like 14 or 15 feet tall, and, and just a spider that was like maybe like this big. Uh, man, it was, um, it was something. All right, all right. You got the cool, pretty lines. I got the <laughs> uh, the jagged. And like, if you want to fill your whole page with web, like Jeremiah's doing, that's totally fine. Um, one of the nice things with um, pencil and watercolor is that you can paint your watercolor over it and then erase the pencil later where you need to. So you can draw where you need to with that pencil and still be able to erase it. Or you can also erase it before you start painting in that area to give yourself kind of a guide. Once you have your, some lines drawn, 
And you're just going to draw these little kind of like uh, little hills going across your web, little swoopy lines. Swoop, swoop. <laughs> So while we're drawing the swoopy lines, how was your day? My day today. Uh, I worked today, so it was okay. Um, it was an easy day at work, so that was nice. It's always nice. Right. And, you know, it's not like I had to work a whole eight hours or anything, so it wasn't so bad. Right. Let's see here. We got... Uh... What's up, Jesus? Welcome. Don't forget to give us a like or a follow. So, um, let's see. So now we got the swoopy thing. Mm -hmm. Got the hills. We're making a uh, watercolor spider. But right now we're starting with the web. I drew a way big web when she, <laughs> Megan mm -hmm. drew a. Not so big one. I think I actually made mine just a little bit bigger than that. I think I made mine too big. You might need to adjust it for a little bit. It all depends on how big you want your spider to be. And <laughs> where you want to put him. You know, Man. maybe you just want a little spider. Maybe he's just going to be a little bitty guy. My, um, my tattoo artist is actually now raising jumping spiders. And they're the cutest things. I know a lot of people are really afraid of spiders, but I think that most spiders, I think, are really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Are you ready to make a spider? I'm ready to make the spider. All right. So we're going to be using a wet-on-wet -wet technique here. Okay. So we're going to take our cool little brushes. Oh, look at this. Take a cap off. I like to make sure that my brush tip Just is... copying what you're doing. Is... <laughs> is adequately wetted by wiping it on my hand, making sure it's nice and wet. Okay, with these particular brush pens, you can just squeeze this bottom part here. It's nice and soft and it just lets out a little drop of water when you need it. So we're basically gonna just make a wet circle All right. on our paper. You can squeeze out a drop if you want, but don't, don't go too crazy. Make a nice good sized circle. Alright, I'm just copying it now, sort of. Mm -hmm. I had a lot more water probably than I should. That's okay, you do guessing. want it to be plenty. Plenty wet, actually, you can add a little bit more. The more the more water you put on your paper, the um, the more your colors kind of play around with each other, but also the longer it takes to dry, so. All right. It's always good to remember. We do have tools to make our paint dry faster if we want it to, but I don't think we really need to be that impatient. We have other parts we can work on while it's drying, so. All right, once you've got a nice wet circle on that paper, you're gonna decide which colors you're gonna use from your palette. Okay. I like to pick two or three colors and just kind of mix them around together and see how they, how they go together. So, I'm gonna start with, I don't remember what's what in my palette. I'm going to start with this cool green color here. I'm just going to drop some of that in there. Drop some green in there, huh? Yeah. So let's see, I'm moving mine. Mine's over here. Yeah. Put mine right there. And I'm going to start with... Um, what color should we start with here? How about... Uh, I'm going to start with a red. I was thinking red. You might want to squeeze a little drop of water in there. All right, I got some red and just drop it in here. Yeah, just tap it on that wet part. And I oh, like nice. to kind of go around the go around the edge. You can go right into the middle, wherever you want to 
pick up any color on this. Very nice to use some of the extra brown powder. Pick up that over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of orange in there. Got a little bubble going on mine. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Some color by accident in the color. That's <laughs> not good. That is not good. You can wipe the colors into your uh, reservoirs there a little bit. Yep, just like that. And you can scoop it up. And then use your pinky finger to pick it up. That's fun. Mm hmm. Let's try some blue in there. So how was your day? What did you do today? I am going to sound really lame, but I <laughs> missed you very much today. Oh, I missed you too. I was looking forward to this moment all day long. So I was really excited and appreciative when you brought me coffee and breakfast at work. Oh, thank you. I got up thinking I was only going to work a few hours and then found out I was going to be there most of my day. And I didn't have time for breakfast before I left for work, so having you bring it to me was super helpful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What do you think of that? Is that cool? I loved what you did with the dots and stuff. Oh, thanks. I thought really it was kind of cool. cool. Yeah. See, I really want some more red in the back here, though. Like I lost some of it in there too. I'll have to wait for it to dry out later. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm thinking I might make my square a little bigger. And by doing that, I'm just gonna pull this line, this water, out and bring this edge out a little bit further. Mm. So with this uh, technique, you know, are we um, doing anything that we should know about? You know, like, is there a name for this? This is called, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> this is called a wet on wet watercolor mm. painting. So all that means is that you're going to wet your paper and then you're going to add wet paint to the wet paper. So if we were to paint our spider onto a dry paper with wet paint, then it would be wet on dry. So, you know. Sure. I'm proud of this. Mm-hmm. You have a very fancy spider. I like it. Sorry. Oh, why? Like going it's to town on this awesome. thing. awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, we're going to spend too much time on this spider. <laughs> no, not at all. You can spend as much time as you want on it. It's like, I always find it therapeutic. <laughs> like, I this love stuff. watercolor. It's just, it's so soothing and relaxing. Yeah, like, right? And, the, you know, the, one of my favorite things about it is actually that you don't always know what you're going to get. Right. When you start painting, you just kind of start putting color on the page and it, you know, the colors just start to play with each other and then swirl around in the water. And it's looking pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Let's put that ash can there. All right. Once you get your spider painted to your liking, you can kind of set your paint and your brush aside. Um, I'll let you take your point one pen. Mm -hmm. We're just going to outline our web with a, with a fine line pen. Now these are water resistant pens, so we're not going to want to like take that pen line directly into the water, but we can get close enough to it. <clears throat> and then once it's fully dry, if we need to go in and, and add touch-ups and details that are in the water, we can do that. That is really fine. 
when fun can win. Mm -hmm. What's up, Han? Hope you're having a good day. We're just uh, making a spider web. Spider and a spider web. Pretty cool. Um, those of you guys watching uh, in Des Moines, Iowa, we'll be hosting a drink and draw at uh, 5 and 5 Brewing Company. So um, make sure to get out to 515. And uh, since we're going to be going there, I figured we'd, um, I'm not even show this on the right camera apparently. <laughs> Man, I am like, got to get better at this. Let's see if this is the right camera over here. So yeah, so once we, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's hard to tell because, uh, you know, like you're just kind of guessing. Yeah, so yeah, 5 and 5 Brewing <laughs> Company. Um we're going to be doing a drink and draw on uh, Monday, um, September 18th, and uh, it's free to go. Uh, show up. We will have pens and papers, and we're going to be doing a uh, Zentangle. We'll be doing it live on TikTok as well, so if you want to join in, uh, Megan's going to guide us through a, uh, a Zentangle. Would you like some uh, some beer? Yes, I would love some. All right. <laughs> Let me... Um, I'm ready. I don't want to ruin the painting. I just want to. <laughs> well, let's pour this. Let's see here. I'm going to move my artwork. <laughs> pour some beer. Oof. That <laughs> is a lot. I've had. So sorry. Here's a better pour. Here's a better pour. There what you beer go. are we drinking? This is uh this is called Greenbelt Trail. And this is a 7% uh, IPA. <laughs> Cheers, my dear. Cheers. Hmm, there you go. There's some stuff. Gracias. Dana. <clears throat> Let's see here. I <laughs> should have had a towel. I, uh, I believe that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. One thing I always recommend when you're working with watercolor, oh. have something close by to dry your surface or your paper. Anything absorbent can be really useful when you're doing watercolor. Sometimes you need to use it on your art. Sometimes you just need to clean up your space a little bit. Yeah. I so. Always like to have paper towels around. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be doing a drink and draw. Megan's gonna be doing a. Walking through a Zen tangle. And um, like I said, free to join. We'll be doing it live on TikTok. So. A Zen tangle may or may not also be a little bit spooky themed. Spooky but, themed. You know, we are well into September at this point, and I say bring on the spook. <laughs> That's right. I noticed that. Um, more and more people are <sighs> embracing the spookiness sooner. And I, I'm all for it. If you can have Christmas in September, why can't you have Halloween and or spooky time and I guess September instead. I don't know, that's not really dumb. But <laughs> anyways, you get oh, what I'm saying. Yeah, well, everybody complains about skipping Thanksgiving and going straight to Christmas. And they're already getting out the Christmas stuff in November. I think that's just fine, personally. I say, if a holiday brings you joy, you can celebrate it as much as you want, as early as you want, and let it, you know, let it linger. 
Mm. It's not quite dry yet, but here's a little bit of a preview. We've got our web nice and outlined here, and our little spider is drying. So yeah. How's your web coming? Oh, I'm so, I was pouring beer, so I'm... That's okay. You also got a big webbed outline. I think you're doing pretty good. Thank you. You're always so encouraging. I love it. <laughs> it's the coach in me. <laughs> I'm actually going to erase some of the leftover pencil marks in my web now. If you're watching, please feel free to uh, comment. Tell us your favorite spooky uh, symbol, character, whatever, what have you. I like spiders a lot. I think they're really fun. I also really love ghosts. So those are my favorites. What are yours, Jeremiah? Oh, I definitely like the zombies. Zombies was my oh. one of my favorites growing up. I still are. Um... One of our favorite uh, artist friends started off doing um, a zombie coloring book, and that was like the coolest thing. And that kind of got us uh, probably like more into like spooky art. For sure. I mean, this yeah. isn't. I want to say this isn't the spookiest thing we've done, but oh, yeah. no. <laughs> but uh, you know, I got some spooky art, and um, that was really cool. And um, we had zombies, of course, skulls. Everybody likes skulls, I think. I like ghosts. Um, and if you combine them, it's even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I like humor, so, you know, if it's silly, it's fun. I mean, I like, um, gotta have the jokes. You know, campy like a horror movie, you know? I love campy, spooky stuff. That's the best kind, in my opinion. I mean, I enjoy a good actual scary movie now and yeah. then, for sure. I mean, it's the same. Right? Yeah. But I really love the campy stuff. It's just, it's so funny. Tail and Ducker. Or Tail and Ducker. <laughs> Dale and Dale Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> that was such yeah. a fun movie. <laughs> I love that one. And Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, classic. yeah. It's classic, 100%. I love that one. Oh, man. Thanks so much for the likes. Appreciate it. Thank it's really you. nice of you. Yeah. So, um, oh man, super cool. You should hold up yours and show. Oh yeah. Friends. Here's where we're at. This is uh, where I'm at, at least. Mm -hmm. I like the. Uh, I actually really like the edge of your spider. It almost makes it look like it's a little bit hairy. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it turned out really good. Thank you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, um, uh, why don't you show them yours again? Oh, yeah, of course. Cleaned it up a little bit. I erased some of our pencil marks. Got my web outlined. And we're just waiting for our paint to dry a little bit now. And then we're going to add some more details onto the spiders. That's right. Um, so, again, uh, if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we'll be doing a drink and draw uh, on Monday, September 18th. So um, come join. It's free. You get a dollar off a beer if you participate. We'll have pens and um, paper to do it with. And we're basically going to be doing, or Megan will be leading through a Zen Tangle that'll be spooky themed. So uh, we'll be doing it live on TikTok so you can join us and uh, participate if you want then too. That'll be uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time. All right. <clears throat> What's next? I don't know. Do you think of any other details you want to draw in the picture? Well, sometimes I like to draw like other little spiders or, you know, maybe mm -hmm. little things here and there, but are we waiting for this to dry a little bit more? Yeah, I think so. Cause, well, I mean, we could draw our legs on our spider at this point. Ooh. I think it's dry enough to draw the legs on. We just can't draw the eyes on the spider because sure. it's, I mean, I don't know about yours. Mine is definitely still shiny and wet so mine's not as shiny it's just kind of yeah it feels 
It feels okay. I mean, yeah. it feels like it feels, still feels damp. I still give it a little bit because, Oof. yeah, so with these water resistant pens, like some pens are waterproof and so you can draw right on things with them, but it's usually better to just let things dry. Um, and the water resistant ones, if you draw on something that's still kind of wet, then your ink may bleed while it's still drying. So it's really good to wait until it's fully dry. Um, just to give you a little bit of a preview, I did paint one of these spiders a couple days ago when I was playing around with ideas. And I just thought he looked so cute that I figured we just really needed to do this as a project on a live because, you know, he was fun and he wanted to be shared <laughs> with all of you. So there he is. Cute he is. That's kind of how he's going to look, how these guys are going to look when they're done. Yeah, if you guys um, are watching... You know, feel free to let us know what your spooky character is, of, or uh, what your favorite spooky character is, or what your favorite kind of beer is. Mm -hmm. That too. And uh, if you're curious what Art is Rad is about, it's um, it's about you know, basically this, <laughs> just building conversation and, and building relationships uh, through art with art. So, hopefully you're enjoying this. We're building a, uh, making a spider with watercolor. And uh, so this is um, our start here. Or this is my start, at least. <clears throat> Gotta get used to this camera position. And then um, we're going to start adding in a... Uh, Oh, nice. You got another little <laughs> spider going on. Yeah, really I'm going to cool. some little spiders in my web. You know, I was thinking um, about adding some other little spiders like in the background, mm -hmm. like with the watercolor. Yeah, you could, you could paint more spiders on. Yeah. You could paint a moon in the background. You could paint a little bat, you know. Yeah, I'm going to try like little tiny, like yeah, just little baby spiders, maybe. <laughs> just try a little, mm -hmm. little, let's see here. A little red one. Oof, that's too too much. <laughs> too bloppy. Too bloppy. <laughs> I gotta spread them out a little bit. There you go. Don't think you can use that paper towel to dry your brush a little bit if you need to, also. Yeah, if you're crawling. You yeah, can... me. I always just dry it on my hand because. Let's see. We'll do like a darker one. What else? Um, let's try. Let's do the yellow spider like we saw on the windshield today. Oh my goodness, that yellow spider was so crazy. <laughs> oh he no. Did. He held on like a little champ though, you know. 100%. So I'm, you can't see in the this, in this screen here, but I'm trying to, I, I added too much, <laughs> too much water to my, a whole bunch of baby spiders here. I got some red spiders. We'll see how this comes out. Baby spider army. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh man, someone filtered their comments. Great. Well, I'm glad to <laughs> see that there's some filtering happening. Good. Thank you for commenting, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope you're, I hope you're having a fun time watching this. Uh, feel free to participate. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, we're just making some, some spiders with watercolor here. If you do paint along with us, make sure you send us a picture of your work too. That's right. Yeah, we'd love to see it. Um, it's a huge part of, of Art is Rad is just help, you know, collaborating and, collaborating and sharing and, and, you know, really getting more visibility for artists of all types. 
You know, it's not color these days because it's like colors are solid, but I want to add you black to You have lots these. of spiders. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Is like <laughs> whole add, spider some, and... add some spider babies going on here. Like the Muppet babies, but <laughs> if you're old enough to remember that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Check this color down there. Too dark. Okay, so I got a bunch of spider babies. You got a bunch of spiders on yours. I kind of wanted like a black widow looking one. Mm. Like I wanted to get like a lot, like a lot of red in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you get some of the water out of your brush, you'll have a little bit more control over like your that. color. Like that. That's what I wanted right Ooh, that there. That looks good. Yeah. Like that one, yeah. Maybe this one. We'll I can see get how it dries. This one. This one needs a needs a paper towel. Yeah. Be very gentle with it. You don't want to soak up too much of that red. <laughs> too much. <laughs> it's actually kind of what I wanted, but I want these like fuzzy colors back here. I don't want them to be like super. Yeah, more like this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Okay. 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 I think I think this is looking looking okay. All right. Mm -hmm. It's coming along. It's funny. I was I was working on one of these little spiders the other day, and we were just hanging out. We, I think you were working, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just sitting with him while he was working, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try and paint one of these little watercolor spider guys and see how it turns out. And yeah, I was just hanging out with you while you were working. I literally just pulled my little sketchbook out and painted a circle and yep. put, dropped some color in it. And then we just sat and talked while I waited for it to dry. And I added some little pen details. And I was like, look how cute he is. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cute little project. He was cute. Or were you talking about me? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> Look at this. this is my this is what I was doing with my uh, watercolors here. It's just a mess <laughs> of um, and then globs of uh, color and water all mixed together. It's kind of fun, you know. So yeah, don't yeah. forget to uh, like or follow. Um, we'll have more content coming out, and we have a uh, another event, live event on uh, Monday the 18th at 515 Brewing Company. If you're in uh, Des Moines, Iowa, go to 515 Brewing Company for a um, drink and draw. And uh, we'll be uh, hosting that at 6 p.m. Central Time. And um, yeah, we'll be doing a uh, spooky Zen Tangle mm -hmm. led by Megan. And again, we'll be doing that live on TikTok. So yep. join us then. And then um, if you're just joining us, we're working on uh, a watercolor spider. It's still in the process right now. We're drying, so we're waiting for to add some more ink to this. But uh, this is where mine's at. And um, there's a... Um, so mine has like a big spider and then a bunch of baby spiders. And we're going to add some ink to make them look more like spiders here in a moment. And then um, Megan, where your, where's yours at? Here's what I've got so far. I've got my web all filled out, and I've got a couple little baby spiders crawling away, and we've got our, our watercolor spider who's waiting to dry so I can add some details to him. Yep. Yeah. Some condensation dripped on the paper. I don't oh. know if you can Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed a line. Yeah, I, I noticed, noticed it. it <laughs> I noticed it when you held your uh, your picture up because I was like, wait, it, it's like there's some lines that are invisible. <laughs> I was like, oh, you didn't pen those in yet. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's where's it? Where's that eraser at? Oh yeah, you're erasing your pencil marks. Yeah, Oops. How lazy can I get with an eraser? What's that? How lazy can I get with this eraser? I mean, you can get pretty lazy with it. 
like erasers are not going to affect watercolor paint, but if your paint is wet, obviously it could smear it. So you just got to be mindful of that. And you don't necessarily want your eraser shavings to get all gunky inside your paint. But aside from that, I mean, if your paint's dry, it's not, it's not going to bother it at all. However, and I found this tip out from a friend of mine who's also an artist. Um, if you ever put down watercolor paint and it's a little bit too dry for you to pick it back up with your brush, because you can do that sometimes, you just kind of re-wet it and pick it up. Um, but if you put watercolor down and you need to remove it, I've heard that magic erasers work really well for removing watercolor from your paper. So that's a, that's a good tip to remember. Um, yeah. Because watercolor can be a little bit tricky to work with. <laughs> Ugh, messy. As all art should be. To some degree. <laughs> art mess is the best mess. That's mine. Right? <laughs> Don't touch it. So we used pencil at first to draw our web. Mm -hmm. And then we used the pen to um, outline it. Outline it. So now we're erasing the, I'm erasing the um, pencil, mark. pencil markings. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We like to finish each other's sandwiches, um, sandwiches yeah. a lot, actually. We did that this morning. Yeah, we did actually. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> well, well. That's okay. Sometimes spiders get smushed. <laughs> it was a yellow one too. I should have. Uh... He's put too much time on the windshield. <laughs> I should have um, erased the pencil before I drew these spiders. <laughs> Try not to fix this. Watch this. I got a. I got a way to fix this. Oh yeah. Happy little trees. I'm picking the water off there. Good enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not gonna go in the freaking museum, you know. <laughs> You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Mm. Uh. We should open a new museum called the Freakin' Museum. The Freakin' Museum, <laughs> which is a museum full of uh, have artists all bring all of art. the artwork <laughs> that they messed up on. <laughs> That's right. This was going so well. <laughs> yeah, everything is like was almost perfect. It was going so well, and I, then I could have sold this for. I squished this ten thousand dollars, <laughs> but but now I can only sell it for five dollars on yeah. Etsy. Oh, oh. No, not Etsy. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm sorry for all the <laughs> Etsy people. I was just making a joke. Etsy's fantastic. There's so much good stuff on there. Yep. I try to avoid Etsy because I like to have money in the bank account. You know. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. What? Almost there. Oh, you're just almost there. Almost How's there. How's mine feel? Also almost there. They're about the same. Yeah, I like the way yeah, this is drying. Yeah, it's actually, I think it's really fun to just kind of watch it dry because mm -hmm. it like literally changes and shrinks and kind of morphs a little bit as it's dry. I was like, wow. Wow, yeah. That's so neat. Right. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah. Appreciate you. Welcome um, and thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, please uh, give us a like, give us a follow. Uh, comment if you uh, want to uh, participate we'd love it um, we're making a um, watercolor spider web so I'm uh, sorry a watercolor spider in the <laughs> spider web yeah so it's um, kind of fun feel free to join along with us if you want <clears throat> I think I'm gonna round out my corners a little bit on my spider web. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Can I use a like if I got weird and use a thicker pen, would that be all right? Oh, go right ahead. You can use whatever pen you want. I believe the microns are also water resistant. Oh, yeah. I should say on the final check for you. Well, I think. Either way, I mean, 
up here. Micro up. pigment ink for waterproof. See, is there waterproof? Even better. I like. Would that be yeah. weird to use the brush pen, or should I use the uh, the, the fine the? I say use whatever your heart tells you to. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I wanna like <laughs> I wanna do the uh, other part before I do the the uh, get the little spider I, details. I want the spider details before I do oh, the web details fair. because I wanna you know about you wanna do up your spider yeah and then the rest mm. is background right? yeah, yeah yeah I get you I get you. I'm just gonna round out some of these pointy corners here, make them a little bit nice softer, which makes them a little bit spookier, I think. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like when you do like the yeah, kind of like with the neurographic stuff. Or but but you the... see these, you get to this line mm -hmm. here, and then you like see like the little, little. Yeah, and you don't have to. Make, yeah, exactly. You don't have to like fill them in necessarily. You just kind of like. I think some of them I would fill in a little bit, and then others I'm just gonna make look almost cobwebby. Yeah, because you know spiders like have like all sorts of patterns they use when they're making the webs. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are straight lines, with a bunch of stuff in between. And sometimes the web gets a little thick in some spots, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's stringy and sticky, and you're like, oh my god, what did I just touch? <laughs> well, you're going to hear something crazy. So we're from, originally from California, and, uh, you know, spiders, uh, you know, are, their webs are, you know, most of them are whatever, like, right? So um, if you had, like, a daddy long leg, you just wipe through it, you know, no big deal. You, you don't freak out about it. But if you ever had a web that was crunchy when you went through it, you knew that that was a, a black widow mm -hmm. and uh, very scary. Well, we moved to Iowa uh, some time ago and I remember the first time I went through a web and it was crunchy mm -hmm. and I freaked out because I thought it was a black widow. Well, black widows don't exist here. They, they, don't, they can't live in the climate. They do exist in different parts here, but... They can't. They Not can't. In the wild. Yeah, they, can, they don't live in the wild. They have, they're in like science centers and stuff, but like they don't. Um, they don't. You know, um, they can't last in Iowa. So, anyways, uh, but the webs here from like a basic spider. Uh, they. Um, they can freeze. Well, not only can they freeze, but they have a thicker web here from yeah. the basic spiders, just because they need to survive the the weather. The difference in weather so it really creeped me out but yeah um i don't know maybe somebody else has something they want to add to that but um it was a very weird experience for sure yeah we were it, it was a little bit unnerving having crunchy webs around our house we we're like did we bring black widows with us from california like <laughs> right <laughs> would not have been you know so that's surprising because they were in our garage before we moved yeah so we're waiting for this um for these for the for these uh Watercolors. Watercolors to dry, but we're waiting for these big spiders to dry. And um, once they dry, we can go ahead and do some more details. So but let us know what you think so far. We are. Um, Gonna be doing um, another live on Monday. Where we are gonna be doing a uh, spooky Zen Tangle. Gonna be live from 515 Brewing Company if you're here in Des Moines, Iowa. Check us out.
Can, uh, can, can I see your phone? Mm-hmm. just want to take a picture of this real quick. These webs are so fun. <laughs> yeah, your webs look way cuter than mine. Show, show them what you have. You have such prettier, such pretty line work. <laughs> My, my little spider web. I think our spiders work really good. Oh, you have little spiders? You can absolutely start doing details on those guys. Okay. One moment here. Oh, can I see your phone one more time? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just trying to get. I wanted to, can you help me? Like, what was your idea for drawing the, the little legs? Because, uh. So, you have, like, kinda like or this. do you want to show your, yeah, your original? I can, I can yeah, I show what I did for mine a couple days ago. So, I did a little practice spider. Yeah. And I came up with this idea. And here's how he came out when he was all finished. I thought he was pretty cute. There was one leg that I was not very happy with, but you know, that's okay. Nothing's perfect. It's all about having fun. But yeah, it's a really simple little watercolor spider. We just draw, we make a circle on our paper. We did a wet on wet technique where we did a, a circle on the paper with just plain water. And then we dipped our brush in some watercolor paints and dropped those colors in to that wet circle and let those colors just kind of mingle and play together and now we're letting them dry and then we're going to add on these little legs and a little face like that okay, onto see. our spiders. So I'm going to draw some, some legs here. Mm -hmm. I'll keep this guy down here for you. Oh, put up, put you up want him right him here. here? Sure. Okay. Where it's easier for you to see him. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Good enough, right? It's fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So it's eight legs and a spider, right? Eight legs. Otherwise, he's just a bug. Oh, huh. I love that face. <laughs> <laughs> he's a grumpy spider. He's like, eh. <laughs> grumpy spider because, you know, they're a little. They're Grumpy kids. <laughs> like grouchy little baby spiders. What do you mean we have to go to bed? What do you, what do you mean we have to find our own food? <laughs> I don't want to catch my own bugs. Flies Ooh. are gross. That one's got long legs. I like it. Oh, well, I guess crawl, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, what's this one gonna do? Crawl up in like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a tick. Uh, <laughs> trying to blend yeah, in trying as a spider. Blend as a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, I yeah. don't do it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Give him a little tick face. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, a, little, a little underbite. Yeah. Um, God, they're ugly. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I should probably fill in his eyes and make him like a beetle. Well, I wanted to do, I, I wanted, I like your little, I need to get some white. Mm, yeah. So I can, yeah. maybe I can fill it in and add white later. That's, usually what I kind of do is I start with the out 
side of the circle and just make it smaller and smaller until I have enough black, if that makes sense. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. That or I'll kind of like take a spot and circle around it. But yeah, it's really hard when their eyes are so small, though. There you go. See, you got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Draw lots of little circles. You just took all the rage from your day. You're just like, <laughs> spin it around. This is a smush guy. This is a smush guy, but we're still gonna make him into a spider. You know, he's okay. He's just really hairy. That's all. I'm just shaving a little bit. <laughs> yes, he's a little, little body. Oh, he's kind of derpy. I like that. Put some glasses, <laughs> some glasses on. Perfect. <laughs> Googly eye glasses. So yeah, once you draw these legs and these eyes, mm -hmm. you have these mouth. cute little spiders. Yeah, you start getting these little little spiders going on. You can kind of see some of the the work here. It's coming together. <laughs> Oof, it looks creepy. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're making these. Uh... Oh, man, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Friendly person. <laughs> the round spider. I love how this is drawing. All those colors just like. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. I was thinking, like, well, I was thinking of that spider that I was looking at when yeah. I came face to face with them. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Remember that one we found when we moved last? Yeah. Oh, he was so pretty. Oh, yeah. So fancy. This guy gets no face because he's all black. <laughs> he gets all of his legs. He's like, huh? he's like the little spiders in my picture. That's right. Yeah. Oh, he's extra derpy. Extra derpy. Extra yeah, derpy spider. <laughs> I'll start drawing their eyes first. They look like little brains at first. <laughs> they kind of do. And then you put these little legs on them, it's like, oh. Yeah. All right, I think I'm ready to do my legs on my big spider. Mm, show us how it's done, because you know you're the best. <laughs> this looks like that doll head from, um, <laughs> look at this. This looks like the doll head from, um, Toy Story. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> or like Weird Barbie. <laughs> yes, yes. This guy right weird here. Weird Barbie spider. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, great. So the funny. little yellow guy, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, thanks for joining us. Um... Give us, you know, shoot us a like. Give us a follow. You know, we're we're making uh, watercolor spiders today. Um, you know, feel free to join us. We'll make some uh, videos on how we how we got here. Um, this is um, art is rad. We are just using art as a way to build community and collaboration and communication so you know tell us what your favorite art is it doesn't have to be drawing or watercolor it could be music it could be cooking we're literally art is art oh my gosh <laughs> that is so cute yes there he is so cute Complete with a nice little butt rope to keep him hooked in with his little children. I love those little faces. They're just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it down. All right. Now my turn, huh? I don't want to screw this up. Yeah. You, is, is yours going to be pointing down or yeah, pointing up? Yeah, it is a yeah. point down. Yeah. So I think I was going to try to do like the eyes, mm -hmm. I don't know, mm. the mouth right here. Yeah, you know, do like yeah. Some fangs kind of right here. You could. Could. Should.
Should I? No, I want mine to kind of be like kind of derpy looking. So we'll do this. <laughs> we'll do this little, little underbite thing. We'll put the dark in that area. Put some eyes here. Fill them in in a second. Like that. Mm -hmm. I know there's like eight eyes. You should give him a little nose. I feel like he needs a nose. Perfect. <laughs> a little pig nose. <laughs> little pig nose, yeah. Because, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, that's cute. Let's see these legs. Uh, I know I drew a lot. I know I drew a leg here, but I'm going to ignore that thing. That's just part of the web. It's part of the web. Like... No, it's part of the web. And I'm going to put draw a leg right over here. Now, I did this on purpose because I am wait I've been waiting for this moment. Mm-hmm. And draw these other ones. Okay, now. Do you... I'm going to use my yeah, brush you pen. Should probably, you should probably darken up his legs a little bit. I'm going to use my brush pen here. Yep. Now, now, this is what I really wanted. So I want to take this thicker pen and make these really thick legs. Well, are you going to put little hairs on them? <laughs> I will. And then uh, I guess I should darken this one. Mm -hmm. Give my eyebrows. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Make him a little fuzz. Make him a little more spidery looking, you know. I don't know. <laughs> See, these are perfect examples of how you can take one tutorial and come up with two completely different pieces of art. <laughs> I'm trying to be random about my lines, but they're not really random. They sometimes start lining up with each other, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. He looks very hairy. That's a he. Could be like a they. They or, or she. <laughs> or, you know? And we don't know what this spider identifies as. And that's fine. Could be a them. Because maybe, maybe she ate the, the dude. Maybe. You know? They got babies. So I feel like that's probably accurate. I think I need a little bit of hair too. Hairy baby. Hey baby. <laughs> hey baby. Let's see. Where are we at here? All right. Let's see. What do you guys think? How'd it come out? Is this cool? Is that Beautiful. cool? Another totally different. <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Let's show them yours again. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate you joining. Appreciate the likes. The um, thank you for the comments. Made a uh, watercolor spider. 
it's all watercolor here and then um yeah doing some extra details mm -hmm. and um yeah it's a lot of fun Making thank you some spooky art that's right <laughs> that <was so> fun. <laughs> yeah yeah had some beers from 515 mm -hmm. thanks 515 cheers cheers On uh, Monday, the uh, September 18th, we'll be hosting our Drink and Draw, mm -hmm. where Megan will be... Um, drinking and drawing. Drinking and drawing. <laughs> Megan will be <laughs> doing a tutorial on how to do a, zen, a spooky Zen Tangle. Yep. So we'll have pens and papers uh, for people, and um, we'll make sure that uh, you can make your own Zen Tangle mm -hmm. that's spooky, or at least figure out how to... Do one in the future if you drink too much and you're just trying to <laughs> understand the concept of paper and pen. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. It's okay. No, no one's judging. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, if you like what you saw, please give us a like. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us a follow. We'll be uh, posting these more often. And um, yeah, thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah. Fun. Yeah. What else do we do on here? Should we what? trick them out just a little bit more? We could. What do you think? I want to throw a little moon. Oh, the moon. Do the moon thing. Actually, always, I always have to have a moon. There you go. Just do the watercolor moon. What is that brush at? Let me grab it. I'm going to grab some. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Yellow here. Yeah. Hopefully this works. I'm going to do a little crescent moon. I'm going to do a full, the full moon here. I'm going to make a big butt. Have a big butt. Um, big giant moon here. I like that the yellow color on my palette is called Namaste. But it doesn't. Namaste. It just keeps going. Stay at home. Namaste. Oh man, it's a nightmare. Call more light. I have a water. Uh, water. No, you're okay. not. Did you really use that? Well, I mean, I guess it's all there in your palette. <laughs> yeah, you see how much water there is. <laughs> you need me to drop some water in your white? Mm, I have some right here. Right here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. See, you got it. That's a beautiful moon. Thanks, maybe it's a blood moon. Yeah. Can you make it a little orange and red one day? I'm trying to. Yeah, that'd be work. Yeah, it's like I need more orange. Careful. <laughs> What do you think? I love it. It's good. I'm going to draw moon. Write the word moon on here so people know that it's a moon. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to do is, uh, is add some like like uh, background behind here. Very well said. You know, like I want to like just do like really some spooky like, trees and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, yeah do the, everyone has tags, tag Andrea and her uh, cool trick with the trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the birch trees? The birch yeah. trees are very cool. I love that. Yeah. If you guys don't know who Andrea is, it's, uh, a, it's a dreamer a day. Yeah. Um, I don't remember her username necessarily. But, yeah, she has some amazing tutorials and stuff. Fun projects you can do at, by yourself or with your kids. Shout out. She's great. Definitely give her a follow. We'll tag her at some point, I'm sure, because I definitely, I have bought some stuff from her, and I've definitely gotten some inspiration from some of her projects, so. How's that moon? That's beautiful. 
Oh, I'll leave it alone because I yeah. feel like I'm going to mess it up. You're going to overdo it. I'm going to overdo it. you got to be careful not to overdo it with watercolor because then your paper starts falling apart. <laughs> your moon's almost as big as your spider. I like that. Well, it's a big ass moon. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. A super spider. moon. Yeah, how big? Super moon? It's like a yeah. It's like the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I really yeah. want to draw a little cat down here, but I thought you know. I want to make this guy have hairier legs. Yeah. Make it a little hairy more because he has a big spider mom. Spider mom, spider mom. There we go, hairy legs. Ooh, we love hairy legs. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Mm. They're so cute. I think the hairs need to go like on both sides. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I, I think, think it looks perfect like, like that. Like, never thought I'd be jealous of some hairy legs. But <laughs> he's, he's really got this down, you guys. It's funny, this one little like orangey spot here almost looks like a little blood drip. I know. <laughs> I was like laughing at that too. Like, That's kind of funny. Like, whoops. Okay. 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 Well, that was just <laughs> Got my finger in the paint. Been there, done that. Yeah. You guys want to see how I this? You see this? You guys want to see what's up for them? It might I scare you. I think it might scare them. It might scare them. Yeah, show them your moon. Show them your moon. Them. Ah, moon juice. Yeah. <laughs> don't ban us. Don't, don't. <laughs> we don't need to get a warning from TikTok that we mooned you. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Fuzzy legs. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, right here is good. You can see the fuzzy <laughs> legs on here. Yeah. Fuzzy legs. <sighs> All right. That's a fun project. That was a fun project. Let us know what you think in the comments. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you for all the likes. It's awesome. Yes. Uh, feel free to share next time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, Megan. Mm, thank it's you. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. And thanks for breakfast today. Of course. Yeah. If you're still watching. Feel free to buy an artist rad hoodie. It's hoodie season. Mm -hmm. The hoodies are rad. Spider season. Spooky Spider season. Spooky season. Spooky yeah. season. Ooh. We got lots more spooky art projects coming up. So yeah. stay tuned. Yeah. Let us know if you have any uh, questions or thoughts on this project or... If you think that, uh, if you have an opinion on what Art is Rad is about, let us know. We are definitely um, excited to do more of this. Mm -hmm. Man, today is the day. It's <laughs> yeah. midnight. Yeah. Oh, with it? Oh my gosh, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Here All we right. are. It's yeah. Sunday. <laughs> Alright, well, happy Sunday, everybody. It's in the Midwest. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you at 515 Brewing Company on Monday, September 18th. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, will be going live then, so feel free to join us. And uh, yeah. Have a great, have a great night. Yeah, thanks for joining.